All right, fettuccine magnifico with seared scallops. We're going to start with searing our scallops in a cast iron pan and olive oil. Get that pan good and hot to get a good sear on them. Flip them over. We want to cook them about halfway. Um, and then pull them out and put them on a plate to set aside. Uh, we're just doing some simple seasoning of salt and pepper here. And then we're going to start our sauce next. Some heavy whipping cream. Uh, recipe calls for cognac, but I have brandy, so we'll use brandy instead of cognac. About two ounces. Some fresh chopped mint. And then we're going to take the zest of one orange and one lemon with some salt and pepper. And that's it for our sauce. We're going to let that cook and reduce. And as it thickens towards the end, we're going to toss in our scallops and our fettuccine. Uh, this recipe you could do with chicken, shrimp, scallops, fish, uh, pretty much anything you want. It's a very simple cream sauce recipe. Uh, we used our homemade pasta for this. I uh, pre-made some homemade fettuccine that we're going to heat up and toss in at the very end. Uh, tonight we're using whole wheat pasta. And I will note that um, homemade whole wheat pasta does not taste much different than uh, regular pasta made with white flour. It is a whole different animal than what you buy at the store for whole wheat pasta. If you've ever tried dried whole wheat pasta from the grocery store, it tastes like cardboard. Uh, when you make it at home, uh, it tastes nothing like that. It's very good and very, very similar to the regular uh, pasta you would make with white flour. So our sauce is thickened up now. We're throwing in our scallops to finish cooking off as we reduce. Get a little bit of that juice in there too. Uh, after we have that cooked for a second, we're gonna throw in our warm fettuccine. And we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan and then toss it all together. Get it well mixed before we plate it up. And in just a second, you're going to see what our finished product looks like. Yum, yum, get you some.